Have you ever thought why the cigarette box has the sayings, smoking is injurious to health and causes cancer, though they want to sell it to run their business? It's not strange but they give disclaimers about the impact of smoking. Teen and adults start smoking during their early stages because it makes them glamorous and exciting. They also get impressed by their favorite movie stars. Globally smokers just believe smoking will make them released from stress and anxiety. If so really does smoking is good for us? No, we have reason for this, no. Why do people smoke? Even though people are aware of the impact of smoking what makes them to smoke cigarette? It is the nicotine in cigarettes that make them so addictive. Within about 10 seconds, the bloodstream carries a stimulant called nicotine to the brain, triggering the release of dopamine and other neurotransmitters including endorphins that create the pleasurable sensations which make smoking highly addictive. This is why some people report feeling more focused and attentive after smoking a cigarette. Nicotine can also cause temporary feelings of relaxation, due to the increased level of serotonin in the brain. Within few hours nicotine will be expelled from our body with the help of liver though the urine. If the nicotine misses in the body, again body will leads to the cravings for smoking. This will make one feel restlessness, anxiety, frustration, anger, and even insomnia. While smoking again, brain will develop tolerance to the nicotine effect which will increase the cravings for smoking. This forms the cycle of addiction. How tobacco cause impact to our body? Cigarette contains tobacco leaf, which contains nicotine and a variety of other harmful compounds like carbon monoxide, etc. From the start, tar, a black, resinous material, begins to coat the teeth and gums, damaging tooth enamel, and eventually causing decay. Over time, smoke also damages nerve endings in the nose, causing loss of smell. The vocal cords become irritated because of the tar, making people cough reflexively. It enters the respiratory tract and reaches the lungs. It does this by damaging the cilia, tiny hair-like structures whose job it is to keep the airways clean. Hydrogen cyanide reacts with tar and forms the poisonous combinations which will paralyze these cilia. This will invade bacteria and other dust to enter the tract. By this way tobacco play vital role in lung cancer development. It then fills the alveoli, tiny air sacs that enable the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and blood. This will increase the flow of toxic carbon monoxide to the bloodstream, binding to hemoglobin and displacing the oxygen and get circulated throughout the body. Each body building cells require oxygen as their energy booster. So it causes the oxygen deficiency and shortness of breath. Meantime these starving cells send the inflammatory signals and this will increase the mucus production and will narrow the airways and lead to the breathing issue. As I said earlier smoking will lead to the increase of toxic material to the bloodstream which will bring the huge impact to the body though it has done the enough damage in the lungs. The chemicals released from tobacco are mostly oxidizing one and they are highly reactive which can damage all type of body cells. These toxic oxidizing chemicals travel in bloodstream and react with the lining of the blood vessels causing inflammation and fatty plaques. These fatty plaques narrow the blood vessels. The oxidizing chemicals will also damage the vessels that supply oxygen to brain and heart. These damaged blood vessels will blockage for blood supply and lead to the cell damage of the vital organs like brain and heart. Hence smoking will lead to the strokes in brain and heart attack. Strokes can also lead the paralysis attack. Addition to the lung cancer, it can also lead to the skin cancer, liver cancer, kidney cancer and even bladder cancer. Cigarette smoke contains at least 40 cancer-causing substances, called carcinogens, including cyanide, formaldehyde, benzene, and ammonia. In your body, healthy cells grow, make new cells, then die. Genetic material inside each cell, called DNA, directs this process. If you smoke, toxic chemicals can damage the DNA in your healthy cells. As a result, your damaged cells create new unhealthy cells, which grow out of control and may spread to other parts of your body. This is the root cause for the cancer development. 
Some studies say smoking can cause infertility in both men and women. If a pregnant woman smokes, the toxic chemicals will reach baby and cause the greater risk related to the pregnancy. Even it may cause severe effects to baby growth. Nicotine pass via breastfeeding from smoking women to body while getting breastfeeding and will lead to vomiting, diarrhea, restlessness or rapid heartbeat. It can be very difficult to overcome an addiction to nicotine, so the best thing you can do is to never pick up a cigarette in the first place. If you are smoking and start thinking of quitting, it's a good sign and you are halfway there. Just pass through the temporary anxiety and depression caused due to the nicotine effect. Cancelling and support groups, cognitive behavioral therapy, and moderate intensity exercise also help smokers stay cigarette-free. Bringing awareness among the teen and adult is must. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share this video.